Oh, hello integrals and the Frenchals. It's Dal. Welcome back to my kitchen. And today here is that video where I talk about deck making decisions that came to doing this Venusaur deck, as well as answering uh, the comments you wrote on the video right and right here. So that's gonna be in about the middle part starting. Yes. Okay. So. Mega Venusaur, let's get started. First off, there are two Venusaurs and Mega Venusaurs. Let's compare them. All right, so I'm gonna pull up the other Venusaur, the Venusaur, the new Venusaur of Generations. Why didn't you use this one? Okay, well, its first attack sounds terrible. I'm, I'm, okay, its first attack is terrible, that's better. Kind of. All right, Frog Hop, flip a coin. Well, hey, Trick One would have been good there. If Heads, 80 damage. If Tails, 40 damage. Well, average of 60 damage, that's so-so for that kind of attack. But think about Garchomp. That card is popular, 130 hit points. Now, if this one attacked, it would have one-shot a Garchomp because the Poison would have got it and the Focus Band or Sash does not work. And this guy, he's like, uh oh, no, not you. We're not gonna talk about you in a bit. Frog Hop. Well, uh, if it's Garchomp, maybe yes? Maybe no, I'll take him out. I don't know, flip a coin and see. Uh, I didn't want to have to deal with that Birch thing. I mean, Birch is teaching these dinosaurs Pokemon to uh, do funky stuff, so nope, not gonna deal with that. So that is why that Venusaur, it's first and critical attack. Yeah, yeah, okay. And not only that, second attack, the other Venusaur is actually better. So Poison Impact puts the opponent to sleep and Poison. Not bad, that is one shot potential and disables him. So it is strong, but you just give this guy a muscle man. He does, well, almost the same thing. The sleep thing is another burst thing I didn't want to deal with. It's just too much randomness. So 90 damage, extra healing on a tanky Pokemon. Perfect, add in Pokemon Star Lady. I felt this CV in a store was the easier and better way to go. So yeah, I mean, he is a pretty core part of the deck. So yeah, pick the better Venusaur. And I had to, you know, I probably picked this Venusaur either ways, but the Generations Venusaur, you just, just a reminder, 130 damage, works with DCE, flip a coin. Another burst thing. Actually, when I saw this card, it reminded me so much about a different card. And this is why we're gonna talk about, because they pretty much do the same thing. Primal Kyogre. Ooh, maybe a upgrade to 10 hit points. Hey, that's how much damage Venusaur does with a muscle band. Now this thing has a spirit link, so you wouldn't be holding a muscle band, but you move two energies. That's something you don't have to deal with, but it's a guaranteed 150 damage. And your bench enemy's bench EX took 30 damage, and that was exactly what I was trying to achieve with Boom Buster. 150 and Okay, you don't throw energies back like Primal Kyogre, but it is a coin flip. So it was a Mega Kyogre wannabe, Primal Kyogre wannabe. I was like, yep, exa know exactly what to do with this. Okay, but how is it compared to the original Venusaur? Let's take a look. Now you probably think this guy is much cooler. It was like, I am cooler, Donald. And he is cooler. Cooler, but all right. They do the same. Well, actually, this guy does a little bit less, but overall, it's the same-ish damage output with the Paralyze and the Poison, especially the Poison, but the Infinite Paralysis. It matters if you don't kill the Pokemon, because now, well, they're stuck. They can't do anything. They have to switch, and it is actually good against fighting other strong Pokemon, but it is not part of BCE Club, which... You know, messed up all the wonderful, beautiful synergies out with this deck, so... Yeah, you could do Mega Turbo. Speaking of which, Mega Turbo was not in the deck. That was the first thing I did when I made this deck that was for Mega Turbos. I relented because these things worked out so much better. Why? Because it only works on Mega Venusaur! This Max Elixir would work on Reggie Ice, Venusaur... And well, yeah, it, it was more, it was much easier to do. I didn't have to wait for Venusaur to Mega Evolve. 
and that canceled my turn and slowed me down, so it wasn't as good. That's why Megatur was not in any of my decks. Although, it would probably be better in a different deck, just not this one without a spirit link. Okay! Speaking of which, I did try other stadiums too, mainly because the stadium only helped one Pokemon. Yeah, and it turned out that that extra speed Venusaur was better. What, what else could you be using? You could have used it! Uh, what's that stadium? Oh, it's not a Pokemon, it is a stadium. It is called the Shrine of Memory. So what remembers what the, its attack were. I mean, Pokemon are just so forgetful, you know? And yeah, why would you want to do this? The same thing with energy discard things. It's actually being able to heal itself in mega form is not actually bad. So, all right, so that was another alternative. Oh, Reggie Ice. Why did you decide to mix water, man? I mean, yeah, the UC Club, but you could have chosen, and this was in the comments. I'll talk to you. Thank you, Yuki Cha. Where are you? Beautiful. I'm gonna spell beautiful because I don't know how to spell beautiful. Stage two needs a lot of deck space. And check these stats out 130, 80 damage. 120, 70 damage. You get a 10%, 10 damage, 10 damage hit point. Both increase. For evolving it twice, it takes up so much space where this guy was instantly out there. And all you gotta do is, well, just get a Smeagol. He's much cheaper to get out. So, yeah, that's that's why I chose Reggie Ice instead of uh, Beautifly. And, the, hey, weak to fire. Who hate? What does fire hate? Water. Gotta cover Venusaur, so he was just such a perfect fit. Even though all grass would have been much cooler. Oh, I actually tried Verazian first. Which Verazian, you say? Verazian actually works better. Most of the times when Reggie Ice doesn't matter, okay? Because, well, well, or does not part of DC Club, but this attack for two grass energies was very, very strong. It really helped balance out a slow deck, because you do find yourself less, more, less prize cards than your opponent, I'm sorry, more prize cards in a losing spot, that's how it goes, and it was really good, and you can actually pull out Venusaur, Mega Venusaur, discard them with a Battle Compressor, and get them out, that, why did I do, why did I not do Verazine, I was about to, man, I was so close, but he, you know, just, he made the deck slower, but he fixed so many problems that could have risen up, so that's why Reggie Ice was there. It, is, it does complicate the deck, but no, I think I may, uh, next time, I think go with Verazin. I think that would be an actually an improvement. Okay, what else? It's the first time I used the Verse Seeker in it. It's not really, I knew about it, I see it all the time, but there's a problem with this. One is, if you didn't add anybody to your contacts, you're in trouble. Two is... They're both items. So what happened in the item lock deck? They could not play anything. And, well, I did have some supporters to help me out. The good skeleton. And that's why sometimes I just, well, screw it. I'm going to take one verse seeker and just put more of the cards I need. And you've seen that in past videos. Works out better. Totally. But some, this thing is considered pretty darn fast. And, you know, once you add the contacts in, quite good so there's a benefit there's downsides the downsides are pretty big right now because of the item lock stuff okay so we talked about that I'm looking oh trick coin I chose this card because it helped everybody and this thing doesn't help make a Venus source so that was only one but this thing oh well, it's universal it helps every Pokemon in the game while well, trick coin actually helps most of them, but not in a great way. This guy, Permanent Paralysis, could be annoying for buying time. I'm not going to keep that out there, but two-shot and EX Pokemon one turn sooner, it's a big deal. And really, I wanted to be the sort of primal Kyogre, so I wanted to, to... When an EX Pokemon comes out off the bench, like the first match you saw, 
the muscle man would have helped to knock down. The other way, I would have taken two attacks, but and more bench damage. So both items were a choice. You want to get the front Pokemon, or you want to get the back Pokemon. The back Pokemon, whatever. I prioritize the front one because that's the one that probably needs to go down, and it works better with Lysander. So I think there's only one more card to talk about. First time you saw Olympia, she's gonna be in every one of my deck now. She's awesome. Very awesome, especially when you're item block. You need to retreat this fat, uh, I'm sorry, fluffy boy or girl. That's, uh, this is how you do it. And it works with your verse seekers. So you call whatever you need. She's going to be in all my decks. Wonderful, wonderful supporter. Okay. So I think that's it for today. And you really love the John Senosaurus over Blastoise, Mega Charizard. And something like this may work. Although, try it with Verazin. Here we go, like it. Okay, now, let's see what you guys wrote in the comments. I actually read it ahead of time, so I rehearsed. Here we go. Adam Annis. I love your videos so much. Oh, thank you again, Adam. And Darian P. Venusaurus. Flat. He's fluffy. First time I heard that was actually from Gabriel Iglesias. Funny comedian. You watch him too? And the Emerald Wither. The reason damage change healed up Reggie Ice, so it was not the effect that affected, uh, well, it was not affected. Let me go back. Mega Mewtwo uses damage change. The properties that affect Reggie Ice don't work, but the properties that affect Mewtwo works, and that's what he's trying to say. Got it. Yep. And Johnny Five and Polyon could be a fun tech with Venusaur. It's like a muscle band for everybody, which, yep. Definitely, but it's a stage two. It's muscle bands so much easier. Items are wonderful. I wish there weren't so many item lock decks. Victor Colosios. I think everyone wants to know what was the result of the tournament. I, I said that at the end. I, I lost right after. Night March. Hoopa out. Uh, those night marches. I'm going to keep this in it because they're just so good. Way too good. Okay, now, Young Batman. Emerald. Explosion. John Senna's signature, or one of his signature moves. Oh yeah. And awesome Landon Beam. Do a Mega Absol deck. I did. It's just not time to go back to do it yet. And Charlie Leverett. Hoopa looks like a shark to me. What do you think, Donald? I think it looks like a shark too, from the face. It is a really creepy looking shark cheat. I don't know what that cute Pokemon become so crazy. And Juanita Alcachofa. Hi Donald, where are you gonna stream again? I'm leveling a Warlock in Blade and Soul. I'm actually playing a lot of Blade and Soul. That's probably, if I were to stream, it'd be that. Because I just, well, can't do Pokemon constantly. So I, I do switch between the two. And right now, Blade and Soul, having so much fun with that. Hmm, maybe, maybe, maybe we'll think about that. We'll do that later. Yukicha, you change your icons. Okay, but why didn't you go with Miraculous Scales Beautifly and you answered yourself right there. And I read that and mentioned it in the video right away. Alright, the Emerald Wither, why not add Trick Coin? Read your comment, answered it in the video, because of that. And, thank you, the Envious Psychic. Venusaur was the weirdest of the first gen stars. I, I like it, but not as much as Charmander when I first started Pokemon. Me too, man. Totally. Turtle with cannons. Char, so it's all boyish thing, and then you go with a plant. Ugh, what's so cool about a plant? Except it's solar. Yeah, reject moto. I faced my first generations Flareon today, and I'm loving generations Jolteon. Those are gonna be so good. I know you didn't mention Vaporeon, and I'm dreading what I want to do about that. Okay. Okay. Put that away, Donald. Put that away. Xavier Park. What does he call Venusaur? John Senasaurus, after the WrestleMania wrestler. Well, the, well, the face of, okay, that's not really with Pokemon, but it didn't fit with the name, moniker. Christian Manser, Mega John Senasaurus. Doll, you're amazing. Thank you, Christian. And I think this is a Torn from Warcraft. Just looking at that face, that looks like a Torn, cat, gorilla. You're the Torn. Hi, Doll. I'm recently trying your Mega Mewtwo hybrid deck. Ah. 
I, I think there are better ways to do that. But I want to ask, what's the best deck engine for the right now? Chillery, Slurpuff, or Shaman? Hoopa and Shaman. For speed, those two are better. You just get out Mega Mewtwo, start kicking butt, take control of the game. Although, Octillery will go wor still work if you go in for a longer game. You know what, Dimension Chain wouldn't be too bad. Okay, so, Dope Freshness. Oh, nice name. Awesome deck, I'll hope to see more. This wasn't my favorite deck, but still really cool, I know. But I had to do all the generation starters. For generation, it felt necessary and fitting. But we're gonna attack one of the more generations, better Pokemon next. And Esteban, Tina Hero. So good, teach me the way, Senpai. All right, love your videos. Do you play regionals and do you set fan fail? Neither of those yet. I don't actually collect cards because it's just so much cheaper online. And given that I'm getting these cards, for, well, this account allowed to use it. It's nothing right now. But oh, I'm gonna answer it with a question. But I'm, I'm gonna finish that in a bit. Zombie Nation, 1126. Dalt, I think this needs four Robo substitutes. Don't you mean burst balloons? Cause they remove themselves after you play it. Oh, okay. Actually, someone said that last video, so I remember that was a great idea. We definitely have to try it. And alchemy. Well, this deck looks better than I originally thought it would be. Oh, I'm glad. It's durable and it the match against Mewtwo gave me a few ideas to improve my problematic Oh. Oh, a good idea, huh? Can't wait to see what that happened. And Alan Shao, can you do a Giratina Toad deck? Ooh, as it's a little bit toughy. A lot of the special energies. Scared of. I think there are. There are gonna be a bunch of decks right ahead of it that I have planned, and you probably might like those too. But Giratina Toad is, it does have a big Achilles heel to it, and. Mr. Black Sense. Greetings from the Dominican Republic. Greetings from Texas. I know this doesn't have to do anything with the Senestaur deck, but will you revisit the Zora Art Break deck? I certainly will. Zora Art, very powerful, powerful Pokemon. And the way I made it the first time, I was just trying out stuff. I wish I changed it for that tournament, but I know it. Crazy deck. And Nauticals plays games. You're very good at this YouTube video thing. Why? Thank you. And Joel Silva, can you have a look at Team Magma's Agron? What's so cool about that? I mean, it definitely is better now with all these new cards. That'd be a cool deck. But I don't know if we're going to have time to go back to that because there are a lot of cooler decks ahead that I think you guys will enjoy. And David Stein, I, Donald, I love your videos. I was wondering, could you give me some ideas how to do an effective Barrage Nido Queen deck? That was, I was, I've been thinking about that for a long time. I still haven't come up with one myself because of its recoil, it's just a pain. And Emil Stonoff, how do you get all the cards? Do you pay with real money? And now, remember I said I'll finish that? I did, but going from, well, two sets immediately was a bit tough. So I'm holding off on these, I'm just using the instant access I have to well, all the cards to bring you these videos faster, but probably may find a way to worm my way back. It's just the card release happened so continuously, so it was a nice speed option and cheap option. Okay, Diego Hatsu Saravia, any Meganium, Meganium deck. That's big, big on the list. After we get the EVs done and Charizard, that's coming up next. And Swampert. We'll probably may have to do Typhlosion. Draco! Malfoy. I wanted to say Malfoy. As always, very nice video, doll. You and Yellow Swallow were the ones that made me and my kids love this game. Keep the great work. Thank you, Draco. I gotta tell Swallow about this. Or Dennis. Yes. Sh Shizora Word. Another great video. Thank you. Eduardo Glacius Felix. I thought Max Potion discards all energies. And I thought Lucario has to pay to retreat, but things, weird things have been happening. Just pretend you didn't see those. The Emerald Wither, coin. Yeah. The muscle band things. Yeah. And Salim Alfera. 
Hi, I just want to say love your videos, but I really want to see you battle between you and the blue cough ball. That's going to happen someday. I definitely want to, well, do, do a collaboration with them. So, did you read, hear that blue cough ball? Super Gaming HQ is amazing. I thought that was the comment. Oops, how about Raichu Bats with Shaman? Huh. You know, it's pretty popular. We'll have to visit it, but there's just a lot of good, cool decks I want to attack first. And the Freaks of Pokemon. Nice video, dude. Thank you. Diego Hatsu Saravia. That point where he red card me, gave me the game. I know. <sighs> this red card sometimes does that. Lucas Corbajos. Don, since you're using Warren Pokemon this deck, why not add Gold Duck Break? I would have to add a lot more cards in, and then you got to answer right here. DC doesn't fit with that, so... I, I really want to do the next one too, Flareon, but you're going to see what happens. And Mr. Annoying John Senosaur. That's perfect. Thank you. Senosaur, yeah! Jonathan Frith. I'm wondering, a major guard trump deck, what other decks is there to do? Well, Kreninja is pretty easy to make, and it's fun. I, th I think that that would be a cool one. And the Venusaur, Mr. Torn. You're going to be the Torn from that one. Since I can't see, I don't know what that is. All right, that is the end of the comments. Flareon is next time. And I've already got that done. So, thank you very much, Integrals and the Frenchers. See you back in my kitchen next time. Bye-bye.